What typically causes what we hear about the boom and bust cycles associated with oil and gas development? Boom bust cycles are incredibly frequent in any kind of extractive resource activity, right? Whether it's oil and gas development or coal mining or anything like that. And they, they tend to happen because you have a really rapid ramp up in supply, right? So you'll have a number of different companies that will come into a drilling area. They'll drill very rapidly because they want to get their oil or their gas to market. Right? And so you have a really rapid increase in supply. And then that tends to run into two bottlenecks that constrain that increase in supply. The first is that the, it, it, can be, it can be hard as the, as the supply increases to move the oil or gas to places where it's actually used because the pipeline infrastructure can't always keep up in lockstep with the increase in production in certain locations. The second bottleneck is that when the market gets flooded with product, right, when it gets flooded with oil or gas, then in over a shorter time horizon, there's only so much demand there, right? There's only so many homes to heat, there's only so many power plants to run, there's only, there's only so many cars. And so when you have this market that's flooded with supply, then the price tends to crash. Right? So when the price tends to crash, additional production becomes uneconomic and you go into the bust cycle. Well, you're in the bust cycle for a while, and eventually uh, demand and that infrastructure to move oil and gas around catches up. So demand will go up, right? Because the price has been so low, right? So demand goes up. There's additional infrastructure to move product. The price goes back up, and lo and behold, that lures companies back in to do additional drilling and additional production, and which then tends to to further depress the price. And so then you go back into the bust cycle, and these cycles of boom and bust tend to repeat themselves.